Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, January 26th, and it is test day one. I have my history test today when I decide to go down to Vero and take it, which I'm just kind of going to get it over with. I'm not one of those people. It's like nine, so I'm going to eat breakfast, study a little, and then I'm going to go take it. So I'm not going to procrastinate any longer. Because it's not really hard. It's like common sense history. So, shouldn't be too bad. Well, I'm off to drive to Vero to take my test. I will tell you guys how I did when I'm done. Hey everyone. So, I finished taking my test. But when I got here, my car is broken down. And I am sitting in the IRC parking lot waiting for the tow truck to come take my car and it's raining yep it's raining today is not a good day <laughs> it's really not i passed my test with an 82 which is fantastic but uh now i'm sitting in the rain waiting for a trucker to come or a tow truck to freaking come pick up my car because my car let me explain what it does reverse is fine because i don't have to press on the gas but as soon as I put it in drive and I press on the gas, my car revs and it goes about two miles per hour. So yeah, my car is currently broken. Fantastic. And tomorrow was my day to drive for school. So I guess I'm going to be driving my sister's car tomorrow. And I have to get gas in it before I can drive it anywhere or else it's not going anywhere either. So that's fantastic. I'm not ecstatic about this. My poor baby. It's like, my car is like five years old and I'm, and like we just had stuff done to it for the check engine light that was coming on, which was my stupid gas cap. And now there's actually something seriously wrong with it. So I'm not the happiest of people right now, especially since it's raining. And when the trucker gets here, I have to get out in the rain. I don't have an umbrella and yeah, it kind of sucks a lot. So maybe the rain will like blow over quickly before he gets here. And my mom is on her way to come get me. And if not, I'm going to have to ride to Sebastian in with the truck driver. And try not to be all upset. <laughs> so this is my wonderful day. Alrighty, so my car has been taken away. And my mom showed up, like, perfect timing. The tow truck driver showed up, and then my mom showed up. So, I just got dropped off at home. And I'm letting all the puppies out. There's blue fist. And I guess now I should get some lunch and work on studying. And then later I have to um, take my sister's car to get an oil change and get gas in it so that I can drive it tomorrow. So, cause tomorrow is my driving day and that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I will see you all later. Hey everyone. So an update on my car that broke down today. Um, it looks like we had it dropped off at Fashion Auto and they said that it is the transmission. Not too happy about that. Um, they don't work on transmissions, so we have to have it towed to another place so that they can look at it. And um, I think my dad is going to call Sebastian Auto tomorrow and be like, hey, which part of the transmission? And like, does it have to be completely like the whole thing rebuilt or what's going on? So I'm just going to probably do that tomorrow and I'll know more about that. And I'm not the happiest person in the world because I probably won't have my car for a while. And I love my car. It's like my baby. So I'm driving my sister's car. And since my sister is not here, it's okay. And um, her car is not that bad. It just like reeks of cigarette smoke, which... We have like an air fresher in there and it sort of helps by like masking the smell, but not 
that much. But, um, which means Kayla's probably going to drive more because she hates the smell of the car. And it, it's like a lot smaller than my car, so it's more cramped. But, um, so I will be driving that and who knows for how long. I'm hoping not like an extensive amount of time because I love my car and I don't like her car. So, I mean, it's not a bad car. It's a Ford Focus. But I I just like my Chevy and Paula better. <laughs> Impala and Pala. So many people debate with me because I say Impala and a lot of people are like, no, it's an Impala. I'm like, okay, shut up. I don't care. But uh, it's like tomato, tomato. But um, yep, so that's what's going on with my car and I'm very sad about it and it's probably going to be really expensive to fix. Fantastic. Which kind of sucks a lot. But, um, yeah, so that's how I ended my day today. And probably no more tomorrow, hopefully. And now I'm going to go back to watching Dog the Bounty Hunter. So I'd like to say goodnight to everybody. Hope you had a good day and or good night. So I will see you all tomorrow. Good night. Morning, everyone. It is Thursday, January 27th. And it's, I think it's one of those days. I'm too tired and I don't want to go to school, but I have to. So, go ahead, go ahead. But, um, that's, that's kind of my idea. I really don't feel like going to school, but I kind of have to because I have to review for my test. That's next Tuesday in my math class. So that's kind of important. So, I'm going to eat breakfast and then go to school and then come back. And hopefully I won't be as tired then because I did not go to bed early enough last night. So I'm super tired. Hey guys, so kind of realized I haven't really vlogged at all today except this morning. And it's like 20 of 3 and I have to leave at 4, a little bit after 4 actually to go to class because she wants us to show up early to a three and a half hour class so that we can start early to take the test so that we can freaking do notes forever <laughs> not the happiest person um that and like she does testing really weird she does like i mean it's beneficial because she we take the test by ourselves and then she puts us in groups and we take the test again as a group and if you get, like, a certain grade, you get so many extra credit points, which is awesome, because that could help my grade a lot. But, um, it takes so much longer. And I'm kind of in one of those, I don't want to study, but I need to type of mood. But, um, possibly why I grabbed my uh, camera and started vlogging. But I have, like, this whole packet thing to study and which it makes me so mad when teachers I guess like other college students can relate to this when teachers are like oh the quest the test is 50 questions but you need to study four chapters and I'm not gonna sp like specify to you what you need to study more because then you have to study everything and that's a lot of freaking material. Four chapters worth of material is a lot. And um, especially in this class, because it's like two classes like combined. And it's it's just driving me nuts. But um, so that's currently what I'm doing. And I'm actually watching House, studying for Survey of the Human Body, which is funny because my teacher makes references to the show House all the time. But uh. That's kind of ironic, but I'm going to procrastinate more and uh, try and not study. Like, I feel like because I've sat in the class and it's a lecture, it's strictly a lecture class and like she's fairly good at explaining what's going on, but I feel like if I see it on the test, I'm going to know what the answer is. So I don't have to study because it's 
kind of previous knowledge, just a little bit more in depth. And I don't know like how like in depth her tests are or if they're more general questions or if you get like the general idea or if it's like this is a specific thing and in that thing there's this and what is the function of this like certain part I'm just gonna be like I'm gonna die if that is what the test is but hopefully not so I will see you all later probably after I get home from my class at like 9 tonight so hello everyone so I got home from my test slash second half of lecture class for a survey of the human body and I passed I only passed because I did the extra credit but I'm okay with that because I didn't really study because I was in a weird like non-study moodish today but um that's that's what happened there and I think I didn't tell my car has been moved from Sebastian Auto because they don't work on transmissions to Tommy's transmissions So, sorry about that. I heard my mom walking across the house, coming over here to proceed to tell me that she can't find my cat. So I just went on like a 10 minute hunt for my cat, who was in all in her closet sleeping on her jeans. And I specifically asked her when we began, did you check in your closet? Oh yeah, I checked in my closet. I'm in the garage looking for her and my mom, yells across the house, she's in my closet sleeping on my jeans. I'm like, I friggin' told you to look there. Anyways. So, okay, so they moved my car to Vero to go get fixed. And they said that they would have to rebuild the transmission. And that's what's wrong with it. It just died. So that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna call it a night now. <laughs> And tomorrow I get to get my hair done, which is exciting. So you guys will see the before and after. So I'm going to say good night to everybody. I hope you have a good night and or good day, depending on when you're watching this. So good night.